I'd like to greet everyone a good day. Uh, and I'd like to thank the International Rice Research Institute for inviting me as one of the uh, reactors um, on the Rice Straw Philippine project. I would like to thank uh, IRRI for taking into consideration the Sagik Saka Act, which aims to increase the income of uh, small uh, older farmers and encouraging them to pursue uh, entrepreneurship and enterprise development uh, as a means of moving out of subsistence farming. This pandemic has proven uh, the resilience of Philippine agriculture and the importance of food security, especially during the crisis. When Filipinos flock to grocery stores and supermarkets in the urban centers and their trusted uh, wet markets to stock up before the start of the lockdown uh, last March, one of the greatest concerns in uh, anxiety is that uh, uh, where to get our food. Uh, that's why it caused such an outrage when um, there were pictures on social media uh, showing uh, vegetables being thrown away uh, because farmers could not access the markets. A lot of people want their food, uh, especially fresh and nutritious, but due to quarantine restrictions, they have limited means of accessing them. The response of some Filipinos, in turn, uh, was to do urban gardening. Uh, growing one's own food has become popular in the past six months, and there have been a big clamor for seeds. Suddenly, food, farming, access to healthy food, and uh, the ability to be able to secure our food became front and center. Local government units are also have also responded to the challenge of providing food aid for their constituents through direct purchasing of agricultural products from farmers and agriculture cooperatives. That's the spirit of Sagip Saka. It was hitting two birds with one stone. The LGUs were able to access sources of rice, vegetables, and other products immediately, and farmers were able to access the markets and earn despite the pandemic cutting them away from most of their markets. In fact, the DA reported that for the first time in history, over 400 local governments were able to purchase some 6 billion worth of agri and fishery products directly from farmers and farmers cooperatives and associations. The LGUs also purchased rice in winning, uh, with better prices. Uh, usually, middlemen would purchase rice at 13 to 17 pesos per kilo during the pandemic, but the LGUs priced it as much as 19 pesos, increasing the income of farmers during the pandemic. Imagine if we even had, uh, if we were able to add even more value to rice farming, for example, through the utilization of wastage from harvests such as rice straws. We laud this effort. This is money being burned, for lack of a better term, and thrown away unless we are able to have the technology to use it. If farmers could pursue farm enterprise focusing on value adding, multi-cropping, why not? Through the prompt response of LGUs and the DA, we were able to ensure that farmers would have continued incomes despite the pandemic. I am told that an additional gross of 250,000 to 750,000 from growing mushrooms, for example, using rice straws would be a big help in lifting our farmers from poverty. A March 2020 article from the Phnom Penh Post says that the Mekong Delta rice farmers are earning as much as 63 pesos per kilo of rice straw. That's even bigger, more expensive than rice itself, or uh, the cost per kilo is even uh, higher than the rice itself. Their income averages from 1,400 to 1,900 pe pesos from rice straws per hectare. Yeah. Farmers also cultivate rice straw mushrooms and earn as much as 63,000 to 83,000 pesos per 1,000 square meters per month of mushroom crop. Remember that even pala in the Philippines is only worth 17 to 19 pesos per kilo. Most don't even make use of rice straws and just resort to burning what would have been 63 pesos per kilo additional income. If Vietnam can do it or Cambodia, we certainly can too. 
we have to make the most agriculture in the sense that nothing of value should go to waste. Burning of rice straws has always been a prevalent scene in the Philippine countryside. It is a distinctive smell that you can sniff kilometers away. But it is time to learn these practices. Why burn rice straws when you could have, uh, when you can profit from it? We support IRI and the DA encouraging sustainable straw management in the Philippines and ensuring that our farmers are provided with even more options for increased incomes. Our office is open to any legislative measure that should support this endeavor, and uh, you have our full commitment that we will pursue this on the Senate floor. Again, congratulations and thank you for this invitation. May we have more income for our rice farmers, for our agriculture sector, by uh, utilizing what today is waste and turn it into added income for our farmers. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much.